Hey everybody, so we're picking up with absolute value equations and we're going to solve these four examples. So with absolute value equations, we have two cases to consider because absolute value bars turn anything that's in them positive. So anytime we have absolute value equations, we're going to split it into two. And so the first thing you always have to do is isolate the absolute value quantity. So in this case, it's already alone. Absolute value by itself equals something else. So we're going to split right into our two cases. Case one, bars come off and you just have exactly what's there. So in this case, 5x minus 3 equals 22. Case two, the bars still come off, but you have to put a minus sign. You can put a minus sign on either side of the equal sign. You will get the same answer. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the right side. So I'm going to say minus 22, so equals negative 22. And then you just solve each case. So our number one case, let's isolate x. So I'm going to start by moving the 3 by adding it to both sides. And then we have 5x equals 25. And hopefully you can tell what that's going to be. If you divide both sides of this by 5, we're just going to get that x is 5. So that's one of our answers. Okay, and then let's solve case 2 over here. Same idea, we're going to isolate x. So let's add 3 to both sides. Be careful, you are working with a negative number on the right side. So this is 5x equals negative 19 because negative 22 plus 3 is negative 19. You really subtract but keep the sign of the bigger number. And then divide by 5 and we get 19 doesn't divide nicely by 5, but that's okay. The answer is negative 19 fifths. And so even though it's not a pretty answer, it is the answer. So there's two answers on this one. And if you want to check, you can plug them back into the original and you'll get that they both equal 22 when you plug them in. Taking a look at number two here. So number two is an example of what I was saying. You have to isolate the absolute value quantity first before you start splitting into two cases. So our very first thing we have to do is get rid of the 60. So I'm gonna take 60 away from both sides of the equal sign. And that way our absolute value quantity is all by itself. So we have absolute value x minus 10 equals negative 20. Now, this is where I would split into two cases, but I'm not gonna. Can you see why? This one is done. The reason is, is because we have an absolute value quantity that equals something negative. That's never gonna happen. Never true. So you never have an absolute value that equals something negative because absolute value represents distance, distance from zero on the number line. And so we're done. We can just say no solution. So you don't even have to do the work on this one. The thing is, if you did try to do the work, you would get some answers, but then when you checked your answers, they wouldn't check out. They wouldn't satisfy the original equation. So the answer is no solution. Okay, let's try the next one. So the same first step, we do need to get the absolute value quantity by itself. So we're going to add eight to both sides of this equal sign. And then on the left side, all that's left is our nice absolute value quantity. 8 minus 5x inside the absolute value equals 18 on the right side. Okay, so we do need to split into our two cases here. So case one, just take off the bars. Everything else stays the same. 8 minus 5x equals 18. And case two, case two, put a minus sign on one side of your equal sign. This time I'm just going to show you so you can see that, that it's an option. I'm going to put my minus on the left side. So I do take off the bars, but I need to make sure I keep the left side grouped because it was both, everything was in an absolute value quantity. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side of the equal sign you put the minus sign on. Just be careful and use parentheses when you need them. So let's solve equation one. I'm trying to get x alone, so let's get rid of this 8. So subtract 8 from both sides. And we have negative 5x equals 10. Okay, and so we'll divide both sides by negative 5, and we get x on the left, and on the right we get negative 2. So that is one of our answers, and let's move on to the second case. This time I'm going to distribute the negative first, so we have negative 8 plus, actually, 5x 
equals 18. And then let's get rid of this 8. So we're going to add 8 to both sides. And then we will have that 5x by itself. Okay, so we have 5x equals 26. And then if we divide by 5 now on this equation, 5 doesn't go into 26, but that's okay. We still take that answer. So x is by itself on the left side if those 5s divide out. And we just have 26 over 5 as our answer. So these are our two answers for this one. And again, you can always check by plugging them into the original. Okay, let's do one more here. So this time we have our absolute value quantity plus 25 equals 25. So remember, first step, isolate the absolute value. So we have to subtract 25 from both sides. Okay, so then we have just our absolute value quantity, which has a fraction in it, that's okay. 1 ninth x plus four in our absolute value equals zero. Okay, so on this one, you do technically have two cases still, but if you think about it, you don't really have to write out both. When you write out case one and you just take the bars off, the quantity inside the absolute value equals zero. When you write out case two, you would get the exact same thing because when you put the minus sign on, look what happens, okay? So I have case two, I take the bars off and I put a minus sign. Well, negative zero is just zero, so you don't even need to do this. So you can save yourself some work and just work on case one. Anytime your absolute value quantity equals zero, you only have to do one side. So let's go ahead and solve for x. Let's subtract four from both sides. So we get one ninth x equals negative four. And so our x right now is being divided by nine. So what we can do is multiply by nine. Or if it helps, just think of the reciprocal, multiply by nine over one on both sides of your equal sign. And so the nines divide out and we're left with x on the left side and negative 36 on the right side. And that is our answer. Okay, so that was some absolute value equations.